Hello there, ladies and gentle folk, and welcome to another episode of the Zcast for a new season. I'm joined by Squee and HJK. Say hello. Hello. Yay! I'm still waiting on the hello. I didn't feel like I'm part of something special. <laughs> right. Let's put a tear to my eye, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I think I'm just going to end this guy. <laughs> I'm just I am just so happy to be a part of it I mean just to be doing anything in well, the league I love so much yeah let's be honest this is a bit too prestigious for you so make sure you don't get yourself kicked off I will try not to yeah. <laughs> it is it is it is a bit above your station really mm. let's, let's be honest so, Honestly, you know, I just don't say you, fuck people, you people don't understand. Basically, don't what move. happened is when they walked into the meeting room, I just kind of walked in behind them before the door closed. <laughs> yeah. Well, really? No, 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 no. We just thought, oh my god, it's, it's a mess in here. Can we get someone in here to tie this up? <laughs> and then you come in, and we're sitting now in the Zcast uh, room. Yeah. It's a I'm big the janitor. Room. <laughs> and you're just that talking. Keeps, other. Why yeah, are you keeps still up. here? Offering his opinion when no one no, wants it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, we, 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 we've now we've now promoted that that homeless guy in the corner to yeah. a janitor. I mean, come on, we're doing good work here. <laughs> <laughs> we're benefiting the community. Absolutely. So, so, so I get a sandwich after this? Yes. Uh, no. Uh, oh. We'll get to that later. No, you're getting you're getting fifty you're getting fifty p a day. You'll eventually be able to buy your own sandwich. <laughs> Capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, brilliant. So, uh, where were we? Free, um, season. free, free uh, season. Yeah. Week that was a week thing. five. Uh, season five. Week one. Preseason. Oh my goodness! It was insane. First. It was good. First Earth Defenders fought cold. Um, what happened? See how I think that there. That's Neck at freezer had a six point build. That was funny. Yes, yes, and so still rip, and still rip, yeah, still rip from the front. That was good. I enjoyed um, that. You know what though? You know what though? I um, I'm not gonna, and I don't think we should. We shouldn't concentrate too much on the outcomes of the matches because they are. No, no, give, I'm uh, going. I'm according to the, the giant the debate we had on the video. <laughs> yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They don't actually matter. Um, so we should probably concentrate more on the team as a whole. Krillin. The, the results are. A part they're, of it. They're indicative of what. That is true. It, what to expect, almost. Yeah, yeah um, as defenders losing. I mean, uh. Wow. <laughs> um, well, no, it is Team Cold. I mean, I don't think many people on Earth defenders expected to to win it, especially when you're testing no. builds and things like that. No, um, yeah. Krillin is. Oh, he's Krillin. I mean, there's not much work to be done with Krillin. He's just going to have his moments where he doesn't perform as well as he should. Yeah. Um, the exciting thing I think Earth Defender should be uh, happy about is Chaozu was amazing. He did over... Um, in fact, I'm going to try and see and pull up what stats we can that we mm -hmm. do have. I know Chaozu did over 60,000 points of damage, which is pretty damn good. Yeah, it's not too bad. <clears throat> Um, Yamcha was kind of killed before he had a chance to do anything damn supernova. But... Um, <laughs> You know, and Goku did okay, but as far as Frieza, uh, as Team Cold goes, I think they've got a lot to be happy about. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the thing the thing is, in terms of builds and stuff, is there's actually only one build in the entire team that was particularly different from last season, and even that was not so different, and that was uh, Cooler, who was starting off in final form, but basically, just basically had the same... Um, about everybody else basically had the same build as they did at the end of last season. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't really much of a testing week for Team Cold. It was like a tested Earth Defenders are coming out against what is effectively Cold's A team. Um, which, I don't know, I, it doesn't seem to be much, a huge amount of point to that. This is true. Um, team, um, King Cold, though, <laughs> not quite sure what they were building him for, but he was. Doing some decent spam. Five B2s thrown out, four of them hitting, which is not usual for King Cold. <laughs> Usually he's um, a melee guy. Same build, same, or sim very similar build, same AI. Hmm. So um, I guess it was just one of those days. Yeah, it, 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 he's, always been, he's always been built for melee. Of the, it was just a case of he had more um, key to play with, I think. Right. Just <laughs> pretty much all of Team Cold was on the same AI. Metacooler still needs a lot of work. Yep. 
Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, he wasn't on the field for incredibly long. No, but he's Matt cooler and he always just goes. Yeah, to that's true. <laughs> um, I would say, now that I'm looking at the stats, um, Earth Defenders can at least be happy with this. Now, obviously, there were some stats we didn't get recorded because we had derps uh, in the recording itself. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, Chaozu did 65,000 points of damage. Goku did 45,000. Tien did 47,000. Normally speaking, if your players do more than 40,000 points of damage, you will win the match. I mean, if all your players are consistently doing that, um, because think about it, a match of, in and of itself is four players of 40,000 points of damage. Mm-hmm. So if all of your players do more than 40, you've got to take into account, of course, things like Dende's healing and whatnot. But more often than not, you'll be winning. Yeah. So that is definitely a goal you want to shoot for. And even though they lost, the fact that the three members they could record did more than 40,000 points of damage is a step in the right direction. It it's, expect- in the right direction yeah. it's expected for Team Cold, but for some, a team like Earth Defenders, it's progress. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> oh. um, I don't really have anything else to add to that. That was pretty uh, in-depth. Good job, guys. The next match was uh, Blades versus Saiyans. Now, I'm trying to get a good idea as to what they changed for their builds. And I'm going through Blades now. The Saiyans' main change was Bardock. They've kind of evened it out. I mean, he was kind of a weak in terms of key charging. So they've mm-hmm. done a bit to even that out with this new build. Yeah. And it seemed to be... It was okay. I'm not... Mm, I'm not really it was, sure. It was pretty bloody good. He did over 54,000 points of damage. Oh, look at you with the statistics over there. Yeah. For my See, that's why, that's why, that's why, and I should put this out in this video as well. We are looking for volunteers to help us gather statistics because, I mean, it's immensely useful to be able to say, okay, you know what? We did this build on Bardock, and this is how much damage he did. Um, so, and you get a badge. Just saying. You do. It's a fantastic badge. Wow. Even if I say so myself. I am totally whoring for, uh, <laughs> for statistics. Yeah, well, you know, we, we, we expect such things from you. Yeah. Such low class things. And a sandwich, a sandwich would be useful, too. Um, like I said, you'll get 50p a day. Um, I haven't I eaten like. in about a week. No, nope. we haven't been employing you for, for very long. <laughs> it's only been a day. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> Um, but, uh, so yeah, but, but Bardock this... actually, um, to 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 expound on that, Bardock was the highest damaging person in that entire match from both teams. Mm, he, he was well, his blades got fucking annihilated. Blades, yeah, that's true. Trunks was okay, but I think the rest of them just won. Yeah, Trunks was Trunks was Trunks I'm was sorry. reasonably convincing, but geez. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Scouter Vegeta had the highest. Um... Oh, I forgot about Scouter. Scouter Vegeta. I don't think they changed scary. pretty much on him. Yeah, well, what would you change? Yeah, no, really? You Come have on. To. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scouter Vegeta. What happened to him? He never displayed anything like that until, like, the last week of season. Until he played you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, he'd always been decent. He'd always been pretty good. Now he's just getting scary. Yeah, yeah. He is getting a little bit intimidating. Mm-hmm. One thing I will say, actually, about the. Uh, one of the Pataras that was used on Tapion, but it was also used I noticed when I was going over the builds before quite a lot throughout the league is hatred of Saiyans now whilst I can understand mm. the principle behind the whole thing, and I can understand the principle behind the phrasing of the Patara and why you'd want it because of that why is anybody using it? why? what is the I point? Th- it's, it's like not as good as Tension Up, which is already crap <laughs> I don't I don't Except understand I think tension up on Androids is a useful tension tool. Tension up on Androids is good, but anything, like, even high tension on most players, like on a normal player, isn't actually very good. And yet there are people using something that's as a third... I mean, it's okay, it's a third of the cost, but... Yeah, but they didn't, at least they didn't know that, did they? <laughs> to be fair. It's okay. in the Patara things. Okay, I was about to, to blow a gasket, but I think it was just a typo. It, I, it says... Oh, no, it's not a typo. Hmm? John Ember did 2,380 points of damage in one combo. Wow. Period. For the entire match. Mm. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's good or... <laughs> that's oh, man. Mm. He's, yeah. he's dead. You got this. Yeah. You put on him, man. You can't <laughs> Basically sums up the performance of the Blades for that entire freaking match. 
At first, I thought it was a typo, but nope. <laughs> no. No. Oh, John Nimba. Yeah. Yeah. A lovable little fellow. <clears throat> I... Now, now the rest of the team's doing well. Trunks did forty-one thousand. Tapion did forty-four thousand. Cyborg Tao did forty-six thousand. So again, and I think that the, to me that's going to be like a good marker. If if a character is doing over forty thousand, they're at least where you need them to be. Yeah, they're at least okay. Right. So I mean, that's that should be a goal that everyone should be looking for. Because like I said, if you can get everyone to perform like that, you, you're gold. You mm. you won't win every match, but you'll win the majority of your matches. Um, but obviously they got a little work to do on John Ember and Yadirobi. <laughs> yeah, and on the whole beating other teams thing. Yeah. Be useful for them to work on. I think they go hand in hand there. <laughs> no. I think a lot of that goes hand in hand with winning. Uh, no, now. not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, Expert advice there. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you don't just... need Pataris, you don't need builds, you just need to fucking win. God. <laughs> yeah, why do people understand this? <laughs> um... Uh, so I guess the next match we will talk about is Ginyu Force versus Super Saiyans. Yeah, I just felt sorry I know. for Ginyu. Oh, yeah. Well, just... I didn't. Uh... <laughs> I Actually, I don't feel sorry for them. They put up a really good fight. Yeah, but they got destroyed. Not really. I mean, Jace was, was good, but it was only that, It was about the same level that Cold did wait, to wait, us. Wait, 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 wait. No way, shape, or form can you consider that a destroyed. Uh, Trunks had like a bar and a half of health left, and that was it. Yes, but they still got yeah, taken apart. Trunks didn't have a bar and a half of health. Yeah, Trunks yeah, hit. Yeah. <laughs> mm, maybe I'm misremembering, but I wouldn't call it a slaughter oh, in any yeah. sense. It was the, the same as Earth Defenders and Cold. Yeah. Which was effectively Cold taking them to town. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know why yeah. I remember that one differently. <laughs> you were um, just trying to get us. Further <laughs> at the end, I suspect. But, I mean, the whole thing with the Ginyu Force was. I mean, with the exception of Jace, there was not one standout performance in that team. I mean, Raccoon, I, actually, no, no, I like, I like, there was a standout performance from Raccoon, but it was standout because it was so bad. It was, oh, Raccoon. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Raccoon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good job, basic. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I don't know, I mean, it's, diff it's difficult for, you know, a team like Ginyu, with a new coach, going up against the Super Saiyan with, you know, two seasons in a row victories and the experience that they've got in terms of their coaching teams, despite the fact that HCK didn't change much. No, actually, I didn't. <laughs> so, I didn't again, another victory from a team that hasn't changed very much, but even so, yep. you know, it's a lot of teams, even last season at their at points, put up some decent fights against the Super Saiyans, and it's you know, it's, it's a clear indication that that's not what you're looking for, is the Ginyu Force. No, yeah, I guess not. See, I still have to... I have to say, I, I can't call that a slaughter. A slaughter is like Valkyries and Muscle. That's a slaughter. <laughs> this is... Because, hang on, I'm, I'm checking it now, but, I mean, it was one character left. He had maybe half his health. That's not a slaughter. That's a, a good, strong win. But I can't call that a slaughter or getting taken apart because if it comes down to two bars of health, look, two bars of health can go in an instant. That's not really a huge. Yeah, I, I would call I'd call it a slaughter simply because at no point during that match did I think the Ginyu Force had any chance of winning. It was like there was at no point during that match that I thought, Jesus Christ, this might be really, really entertaining or this might be a really close fight. It may have come down to two, three bars at the end. But it, they were still taken to town. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there was definitely some points where we were not doing well. I can think of Goku well, no, uh, specifically. I, I, I will, uh, I will amend my statement a little bit. Yeah, Trunks had three and a quarter bars of health, so it's, it's, it's to me, it's a sound defeat. To me, it's not a slaughter until you start getting to things like no one on the other team died, or you know, you had a. Um, uh, you know, a f two full characters left, or a character with a bar and a half. I, I guess it's kind of a fuzzy territory, but I will say for that I agree with Rebel that there wasn't really a time where I was like, "They've got this." Yeah, I mean, even 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 when Goku got you know destroyed by Jace, okay. I still didn't think at any point. Well, it was like it's Goku. You know, one, it's Goku. Two, they're ahead. Right. And there's just so much more that the Super Saiyans have got. I'm not. There's no, there's nothing to be worried about for them there at all. No, well, I don't know. 
I can't. I haven't got the um, changes for their builds up at the moment. And if I did, I'd have to take time to actually compare them. So I, I'm not going to do that. Sorry, getting you. But um, for the Super Saiyans, I'm talking about Super Saiyans. The Super Saiyans build, we didn't change much, as Rebel said. That's true. I mainly um, just wanted to try out the new Bataras to see. Um, I mean, we put Defense Plus Three on N Vegeta, which made him uber tanky, which is quite, quite nice, quite impressive, and latent energy, which was nice. Um, I'm not sure if it made that much of a difference, to be honest, but he's, he's still our best player, definitely, with Gohan a close second. Uh, Gohan didn't change. Trunks didn't have much of a chance to do anything. Goku didn't have much of a chance to do anything either. And I think Super Vegeta, he had something called Persistent Threat on him, mm -hmm. and I'm still not sure entirely what that does. It just says after him it's strike when you fall on the floor, but he wasn't on the floor often enough for me to really find out. Yeah, so that's, I might... that's one of those ones that's going to be really hard to to tra pinpoint exactly what that does and how useful it is. Mm, yeah. yeah. So hopefully we might get better stuff for that next match or something. I don't know. But that was m the main changes for us. We didn't change much, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I've just had a quick look over the, the Guinea Force, and their builds aren't hugely experimental. Everything is pretty much within the same general theme as they were at the end of last season. Um, there are a couple of AI changes. Uh, Ginyu's AI got changed from Trunks AI to Broly's AI. And then there are a couple of other bits and bobs, you know, the odd Patara here and there. But for the most part, they were the same, which, I don't know... I, I, I guess it's a reasonable benchmark for the Ginyu to force to start off with, but... I don't know, given the success of their, or lack of it, last season, not not the, not the best not the best out, not the sort of kind of bold testing you'd expect from a team in the preseason. No, yeah, I mean, it is fair enough to say that it is a new coach, you won't want to go Right, I was going to say, I was going to say, it's, it's a new coach, he's going to be a little know, timid absolutely. and, and kind of, he's not jumping in the pool, he's slowly waiting, which is fine. Yeah. Um, I think that you might start seeing more from him as the preseason progresses and he starts to see, okay, this isn't working, or yeah, maybe it will certainly. work or whatnot. But, I mean, I would expect um, him to take it slow at the start. Also, bear in mind, if you are listening, that you are fighting the Super Saiyans, so... <laughs> So, no, as much as I would, as much as I would like to insult HDK and his team, I can't actually disagree with that. In you yeah, know, honestly, I'm afraid. Yeah, we did um, be we did be cold for the bowls, so can't really disagree with me there. I don't, uh, I don't remember that. That's because yeah. you weren't here. Uh, we only just hired you, you nobody. <laughs> so don't you dare disrespect my team. Uh, anyway. No, no, actually, um, if you continue disrespecting HJK's team, you'll get two sandwiches. Don't listen to him. Um, <laughs> they look like surfers. a bunch of blonde surfers. I don't really know how they're that powerful. That's because you're new. <laughs> you I, don't, I, don't, I, just, I don't understand how a blonde surfer sticking his finger in an electric socket suddenly makes you a powerful team. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I thought you need to continue funny. doing that, I'll give you a full-time job. <laughs> Uh, if, you, if you can't win anything that matters, win the uh, win the wit game. <laughs> well, obviously you can't. <laughs> I'm not going to bother trying. <laughs> oh, because I won the proper game. Anyway, next match. Oh, <laughs> true. Ouch. <today. laughs> Burn. <laughs> um, the next match was Muscle versus Valkyries. These two Fucking teams did change quite it. a lot up, actually. Yeah, Valkyries I definitely did. loved it. Um, yeah, the Valkyries I mean, they had to change their coach. It was amazing. And a new character as well. Oh, um, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and new AIs and everything. They, they went all out different. Yeah, no, the, the, Valkyrie, the Valkyries have been really active um, over the past few weeks, and they've been doing a really, really good job. Um, good job. I mean, they have two new characters, technically, because Videl... Yeah. Videl and, and uh, Pan. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's, it's Videl is certainly an interesting choice. I'm not sure... I, well, no, I can see the logic. It, it, it could potentially be quite good for them. I think same woman had more going for her, but well, know, judging by the look of her before. build, Videl, it looked like an energy build to me because it's Ginyu AI. Uh, what, they, what they were trying to go for, I know, because they were saying this during the stream. What they were trying to go for is they put tons of dodgy things, quote unquote, yeah. on her, <laughs> hoping that she would be very good at dodging things. Um, well, she dodged the entire match. I was so, going to say know. she turned out to be ex excellent at it. She didn't even have to step on the field. She was yeah. so good at dodging. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was dodge fighting. Yeah. And 
I, 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 I loved that match. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yes. Um, but no, it was it was cool. It was cool to see um, Fasha with you know still a melee build, but still very much or now very and much she was more tank. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's what you say. Exactly. Well, it's still <laughs> a melee build, but you know. Yeah. It's tank. It, it was it was it was nice. It was nice to see that. And Aureli's, um focus on sort of that ping pong type thing is really good. I think mm. that's. What does Dragon Crush actually do? I don't remember. For some reason, I think I'm it not... is vanished. Like, not yeah, either vanished. It's, the, it's vanish. the dragon dashy thing, isn't it? Mm. Right, it's it big... is, isn't it? And then you got eighteen yeah, with is. Style yeah. of the Strong. Yeah, <laughs> that was good because because <laughs> those ultimates need to be more painful, really. Mm. I mean, that's what you want. Yeah. And Super Plus One, which is cool. Yeah. Oh dear. And then you got Muscle, who has also changed things up. Maybe not as much as um, Valkyries, but definitely more than you know. More than they did last season. Wow. Uh, I didn't want to say that. Um, I mean, you got different AIs here. You've got different builds as well. I mean, yeah, yeah we all have not... different AIs apart from thirteen. Let me check. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not. I don't know. This is. <laughs> I'm going to completely contradict something I said earlier. There's a case for not altering <laughs> much. And it, no, no, no. I've said this before. <laughs> God, There's a case for not altering so much, much because you don't. <sighs> You have to consider what it is your players are going to be doing and what it is you're going to be focusing on them doing. When you haven't tried all... I'm looking for the word and the only one that's coming into my head is sane. Um, so I apologise for this, but the only sort of reasonable... There we go. More reasonable avenues in terms of AIs compared to what you had last season. Because there was a lot of consistency from Muscle last season. That's true. So their builds and their AIs and their win losses were very consistent. And they didn't really explore similar Patara or sorry, similar AIs to do the same thing, if that makes any sense. So, you know, you want a B two spammer, so okay, well you start with TN AI, alright, well that didn't work so well, then you go to maybe Krillin AI. Those are the two really obvious ones. Okay, so those two didn't work well. Ooh, probably Freezer AI based on what we've seen from a lot of other teams. That's a reasonable system of going through things. You know, if you look at like Broly's build, Vegeta AI is not really a super build, and when you have something like Super Plus One, that's, I don't know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced by it, and then having someone like Bojack, who was known last season for throwing out one hell of a lot of ultimates, suddenly changing off the AI that made Bojack genuinely terrifying, and changing that build around, again, I don't understand the logic behind that. I, I understand the logic perfectly. <clears throat> it's the preseason. If yeah. this had been week one of the main season, I'd be with you. But it's the preseason. This yeah. is exactly yeah, no, the point thing. in time looking, where you, you, might be where you looking... take him off that AI and see if another AI works. And, and you know, that's exactly when to do it. Yeah, but you don't have... One, Bojack was... I said Bojack was arguably the best player on their team last season. Mm -hmm. He still wasn't great. He was good. He was scary. But so was Mecha Freezer. And Mecha Freezer had a reputation for ultimates. Bojack, now sort of, has a reputation for ultimates. The thing is that when that character doesn't do that, unlike Mecha Freezer, Bojack, as a general rule of thumb, wasn't backing it up. You know, and suddenly suddenly changing that when you don't really have an especially strong team behind him doesn't seem to me to be the best option. Because what you're looking for in a team is a set of consistent players that you can work with that are actually going to give you decent results mm -hmm. and what you want to be trying to do is you want to be trying to build a team on that basis rather than just changing things to me for what looks to be the sake of changing things uh, I, I, I disagree honestly I think that um, the preseason is is the one and time one time where you could change things for the sake of changing them. There are lots of players out there who became good players off of that style of you know what let's just throw this on there and see what happens and it turned out to be amazing um, so i, I don 't I don't begrudge that at all. Um, do I think Team Muscle needs a lot of work? Of course. Uh, do I begrudge someone for doing completely experimental builds on the first week of the preseason? No, not at all. Not I even a little. Complete, I, I completely understand where you're coming from. I just disagree. 
Yeah, they 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 could completely throw a, a literal random build on everyone just to see what happens, and I wouldn't call it the best idea, but I also wouldn't say it's it's horrible. So who did like, the most damage? Have you got any stats for that match? No, nope. none at all. I ran out of stats. God damn it! <laughs> that was me thinking you had a use. Asia hey, like nobody got any badges now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Failed. I have a monopoly on those things. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll go on to the next match in that case, which is Gohans versus DB Warriors. Hmm. Now DB Warriors, uh, they have a new character. They have peel off. Do. I don't remember how he did. Did he do good? I don't remember. I think I skipped over that when Twitch screwed up. He did okay. Uh, actually, I might have stats on that. Hang on. I think I have some stats on that. It's like an yeah, app for that, isn't it? <sighs> got a stat for that. I got an app for that. <laughs> <laughs> I could see this becoming a thing. Yes. yes it's a I jingle. Well. We're yeah. turning into a radio show already. Oh, let's God. see. Oh, shotgun singing um, it. Dragon Ball Warriors. I've got. B2s and stuff. Peel off, launch three B2s and hit with two of them. That's fair enough. I mean, he doesn't actually... Like oh, he has high tension. Mm, yeah, but he's an android. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I forgot that. He's in a machine. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's know. the only stat I've got for peel off. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, it doesn't... Well, actually, no, no, no. DB Warriors made some fair, a fair few changes to, in terms of AI. I can't really see any build changes, but I am skimming through these, so I may miss like build changes. Yeah, so I'm just looking for AI mainly. Every now and then, but. Mm. Um, but they, yeah, it seems to be more of an AI. They're definitely changing more AIs here. Uh, Gohan's Go now more of a uh, damage rather than complete spam. Kid Goku seems to have taken on the spam role. Um... Yeah, there, there are there are a fair few changes. Like um, Grandpa Gohan and Kid Goku almost swapped builds there. Uh, Nam's still attack focused, but it's you know just slightly. Mm, yeah, there are a few. Down there, it's not like any sort defense, of yeah. muscle or Valkyrie changes. No, no, not maybe. at all, not at all. But uh, I don't think the Gohans have changed much in terms of AI. They haven't changed any of their AIs. I think their builds have changed slightly, but I don't think. I think a couple of new Pataras have been added. That's for certain. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I can't see anything. Yeah, just I, glancing through it. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. I don't think so. Unless you know, Squee, is there? Is there anything you can see no. in your statistics? No, no. As I told you, it's all the statistics I got. Oh, that's it. <laughs> you <laughs> just have, have one on peel off. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I have on everyone else, but it's just B twos. All right. That'd be so fun. So I, th- no I only realized. I only thought peel off was. Worth I can tell you that overall, Dragon Ball Warriors launched eleven B twos and only hit with seven of them. Wow. And overall, the Gohans also only launched eleven B twos, but hit with ten of them. <laughs> so, yeah. That'll win you a match, Gohan. Well, that and they also launched three Ultimates and connected with two of them. Yeah, with again, that, that'll help. I mean, you can't really judge a team's skill on how well they dodge. No, but you can judge often. the other team's skill on how often they connect. Mm, because okay, because, because the connecting with a B2 has a lot to do with when you fire it and how you fire it. After image. Yes, <laughs> right. I understand. There is, no, 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 I understand there is wild sense in after yeah, image. Yeah. I'm not talking about one match. I'm talking about as the season progresses, you can start to see that this person will consistently connect because they know when to fire it. Yeah, no, that, is, that is true. Mm, yeah, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Mm. You win that round. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, Dragon Ball is getting rid of early Goku as well. I know, I liked early Goku. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I understand the decision. I don't understand. It's like the s- second worst Goku. Yeah. Now there's just two Gokus. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, the so no, reality that was a... of Dragon Ball Z League. <laughs> <laughs> it's a doggy dog world. Um, <laughs> but the Gohans, that was a, it was a pretty convincing victory for the Gohans. They didn't look like they're gonna stop the the pain train anytime soon. Um. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, it's the Gohans, I don't expect them to do so. I'm not convinced it's not going to stop because of that, but, yeah. Mm. Again, I'm not, I'm not, again, you know, it was a win from a team that wasn't really changing very much, but... Like mm. us? I, I consider Gohans to be like our little, little brother. 
<laughs> Taps on the head. <laughs> Not patching. Gets at destroyed all. by Father <laughs> Son Kamehameha. My, I say my character. <laughs> it's not actually mine. Um, anyway, let's we'll move on from that awkward subject. DB Warriors, they... I don't know what they're... Obviously, it's difficult to tell from the first week of the preseason how they're going to go, but... God, stop making excuses, H, JK. I'm just covering my ass in case someone's like, how could that you guys like that? But, um... If, if, they, if Nam performed like like Rebel and I saw him doing the music battles, that'd be fantastic for the Earth yeah. Defender. I mean, for the, uh... <laughs> for the, the we'll like have that. It. Thank you very much. <laughs> Damn it, I played my hand too soon! <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I guess. I want to see how well Pilaf does. Mm. Considering I'd, we were like, so like keen for them to get him last season. Yeah, I, I'm not convinced he's going to be as good as Grandpa Gohan now, but... Uh... I was saying that, he wasn't great this match, was he, Grandpa Gohan? No, no. Poor guy. He was like, oh god, it's I should be on that team. <laughs> I don't want to be on this team. Yeah. Um, next match was the Rugrats versus Namek. Hi, Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi! Hi, Chi-Chi. Like at, least, those... at, least, at least Chi-Chi had a better debut than poor Pan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Hi, Broly. Welcome back to the league. To the face smack. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like Pan had yeah. more of a B two build, if I remember correctly. Um. Pan? Hang on, where's Namek? I found you. Is that a loop? Kind of B two. What? We're not on Valkyries. Did I say you Pan? You said Pan. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, I meant Chi Chi. <laughs> okay, you guessed that. Uh, I I could have guessed that, and I did guess that. I was just trying to be awkward. Did a very good job. Everyone. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, Chi Chi was on a uh, B2 build. Yeah, Oops. but a lot of guarding, which is interesting. Yeah, I know. A lot of guarding Dark and dodging. Last four points on that. Five. Well, five on defense in total. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah that makes sense. You're, you're far too good at being awkward. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, HJK. Okay. How's it going? Let me look. I can't. You're, oh, we're both checking Namix builds. Oh, dear. Are we? Yeah, I can oh, see. Oh, I wasn't actually looking at the Namex one then. Yeah. No. Again, awkward. It doesn't oh. look like they changed much. Okay, AI's Piccolo, Piccolo. AI's Piccolo, Piccolo, and Freezer. I like how most of them are. I love the actually. thought process of HDK's thing. Oh, they, Some they of did. us just do it silently. <laughs> they did change some AI's, I guess. I haven't yeah. checked. I'm not going to check the builds detail by detail because that would be so much dead air. <laughs> it would just be silly. Um, it'd be me reading out there, like bills. And I, stuff. I could, I could, I could sing, entertain them sing by for. eating perhaps a tasty sandwich that you guys offer. You uh, no, you're not getting it until the show's over, mate. Ah, Jesus, we're not, having, show, we're not having you eating live on air. Only I'm allowed to do that. By show, we mean the whole league. Yeah, a whole season five. Oh, duh. Fine. It, it only it only states that I have to pay him after his contract's over. Thing is, we're going to make it now. So by the end of the season. <laughs> It it's gonna be completely taste. rotted away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. It's like, no, don't breathe that patch of air. It has the mold in it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, uh, who won? I think that was. No, was that Rugrats? That wasn't Rugrats who won. That was Rugrats. I don't remember. Won. It was very close. I remember being. Yeah, right. it was incredibly close. So the, the, I think the Rugrats pulled it out of the ring. Yes, Trunks won, didn't he? Trunks beat. What's face? Good old Trunks. Yeah, King Piccolo, who seems yeah. to be mentally scarred after that. <laughs> um, particular. What have you spoken to? Him? I can get a word out of him. <laughs> I just saw him like spatting in the air. <laughs> oh right, okay. <laughs> uh, um, what do you think are the chances then if we're going to go for early predictions, Damic and Rugrats? Um, I, I'm not convinced about Chi Chi, but Tree. it has potential. I'd. I'd be disappointed to see the Rugrats um, stay down in South Kai. However, that being said, you are looking now at a case where the Rugrats did really quite badly last season, being in South Kai, and you're looking at all the other teams as well who are going to be at the very least staying on the same level. The Rugrats are going to need to seriously improve, um, but you know, mm. any other team with a reasonable amount of dedication is actually going to be able to improve as well. So the Rugrats are going to need to do a hell of a lot. Um, I think Pan actually had quite a decent debut, considering... I mean, let's not compare it to Pan. Did I say Pan again? You said Pan again. Oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't um, know. Good job. 
You don't get to right. talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace you, H. A pair of you. I'm gonna replace you with a mute. Speaking. You're not allowed to talk. Um, Chi Chi did a far better debut than I was expecting. Of her because mm, I was expecting her to be terrible. Same. But, I mean, she tried. I don't think she connected with any of her ultimates. But no, she but gave she it threw twice. them out like you wouldn't believe, yeah. Mm. Oh, do you have any statistics for... No. Oh, my God, what are you? <laughs> are you pretty useless, <laughs> aren't you, Squid? I am Jeez. adorable. <laughs> That's not like, why just I imagine, hide like, you. A puppy dog eyes. <laughs> 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 Give me sandwich, I'm so adorable. <laughs> That's always how I imagine Squish. <laughs> <laughs> just this <Yay>. pleading, please. <laughs> um, please love me. I don't really know what else to say on that. I've run out of words now. No, it, it was it was it was a, it was a good match, and both of those teams showed a hell of a lot of potential. But you know, they're both teams that aren't necessarily as strong, perhaps as other teams. I'd say they're you know in general the same kind of level. They're certainly not you know leaps and bounds ahead of each other. Um, mm. So yeah, I, I think I think both of them certainly from that match have. A hell of a lot of potential, um, but it's 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 whether or not this this that preseason match was was a good was a good indicator of that, and that's really the danger of the preseason for us in terms of making predictions. Yeah, it's quite a pain. Um, I guess in that case we're going to go on to the next match. Yep. Uh, the next match is Mandroids versus Argents. <laughs> uh, so I can't. Wow, that match. <laughs> I'm we've sorry, seen... I'm just laughing at HJK. So have I. <laughs> we, 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 we have seen <laughs> androids do well. I mean, like Dr. Jero and Night Mandroids. Mandroids, Queen. I was androids. trying to be classy, but. <laughs> no, don't, no, don't, don't, don't try that. It doesn't suit you. Um, no, um, I mean, we've seen Dr. Jero do well in the past, but I don't think we've ever seen him destroy someone with full health left. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't think we've ever seen it go quite that far. No, is he was... 20? Is he Android 20? Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. He has Nothing changed AI. which is interesting. He's changed AI to Margin Boo. Yeah. Which makes sense. And they haven't boosted his grabs or anything. Yeah. Or his oh. ultimate. So, yeah. yeah, well done, guys. That was a good job. Good job. So, we're going to be risk. banning Margin Boo AI from all uh, health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Just so you know. But. Other than that, the rest of the androids, I don't think there was any standout performance. Cell was, was a... interesting. Yeah, that yeah. was I was going to say. Is in Form 3. Certainly the form I would have picked if um, yeah, definitely. if it had been me making that decision for them. But no, it was a, it was a very good idea for them, you know, getting so, eternal life on Android date. Out of curiosity, why Form 3 and not Form 4? Uh, better moves. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's That's a better ultimate thinking. for Form 4. Yeah. His ultimate's kind of like an explosive wave, isn't it? For form three, yes. For form barrier. four, it's a form four is is is, is a better Just one. But the up. general the general B two is, I think, a better for, yeah. for form three. I mean, the scatter finger beam is like it's a finger. Just... It's a um, death, uh, bar- 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 barrage death beam, which is actually really mind. good. Yeah, it's really um, good. I think the other one's a Kamehameha, isn't it? It's a beam of some kind. Of no, no, sure. isn't it? Perfect combination. Might be. I don't know. <laughs> it's a Being better good. form than form four, from what I remember. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, and plus, with the extra transformation, you get the ability to get more energy as well. It's just worth having. He didn't actually have Broly's ring on, uh, but yeah. Did he? Yeah, he had Broly's ring on because otherwise they can't use Eternal oh, Life. Dare he? Oh yeah. Well, which was the trade-off they made? Yep. They can't use Eternal Life. They, I thought they could. You don't get health back from use from a Form Three transformation. Just sure they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Cell does. Well, maybe Freezer I'm... doesn't. Freezer um, doesn't get it from his final transformation, but I'm pretty sure Cell does. That's who I'm confusing it with. Okay. Good job, bitch. Um, you get me really worried for a second there. Uh, anyway, eight did all right as well. Him and Spovovich kind of. Yeah, beat they, each they other were. They were. Action. They were a good match, to say the least. Mm. I really wanted to see what happened when they both did that. You know, that head charger kind of move. Mm, that would have been. And cool. I really wanted to Just see. Just a what... massive explosion. <laughs> the game crashes or something. Yeah. Um, that would have been funny. On margin side. I'm not really talking about builds here, I'm more talking about performance. There wasn't that much change um, from what we've seen previously. I'm I don't not sure. I remember Marjub doing a huge amount of spamming, but I could I don't think he got a attention. chance. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't get a chance. He tried at the beginning, and Jiro just like, nah. Yeah. He'd speak to the hand. Mm. It's the face. Yeah. Ain't listening. 
No, Bobby D's build is interesting with the with the style of the strong and the and the TNA. It is um, kind of a shame he hit the wall though when he used his whole thing. I kind of feel sorry for Bobby really. Mm, um, but no, that that has a, that for the for the Blanchards, that has a huge amount of potential if they can get Bobby to stop hitting the landscape. He's um, kind of outperformed by Pepe to be honest. I mean, yeah, I'm just in and him call Bobby in from time to time. Yeah, a bit unfortunate really. Um. Marju, Marju Vegeta, he was pretty good. I thought he was actually going to do to bring it back to a bit closer than, I, than he did before. Seventeen pelted him with energy. Yeah, Mar- Marju Vegeta is a phenomenal character, and I think mm. anything to to uh, make that less so would be a, just terrible for the Marju. A, a, a <laughs> complete disservice. Yes. yes. Mm. Um, I, I think Marju Vegeta is one of the players in the league that. You know, unless you have a flash of inspiration or testing shows you something phenomenally different, you can pretty much guess what he's going to be going with in general. Mm, yeah. He is just a brilliant character. Um, yeah, but the, Andro- the androids made some fantastic moves. Certainly with Jiro, it was it was it's brilliant. And Jiro if, was if the game changer, that up, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, if, if he, he hadn't done, that up. yeah, that'd be quite scary. Yeah. If he hadn't done all those grabs, it would have been a lot more even as well. No, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Which is kind of staying the obvious, but hey. And then the That's final match. Careful. Yep. <laughs> uh, the final match is the one I really want to talk about. Boo versus Derp. That was fantastic. I love. Oh, that especially so the end there. Oh, yeah, that was that. Yeah. That that is the match. That's all I can remember. <laughs> I can remember the beginning bit a bit, and then I just remember the champ coming in. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, it was quite impressive. Um, Salsa didn't do that great. Dodoria did all right. Um, I remember nineteen being okay. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't the team. It wasn't the team derp we came to know last season. So no, the end of last season. No, no. Um, except for Herc. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did better than the end of last season, I think. Oh, but no, the, the boos were the boos certainly weren't as scary as I was expecting either. Um, That's because Kid Boo didn't actually do start. Out. Doesn't use style of the strong. I'm really pissed off about that. I was looking forward to that. I saw that and went, "Oh yes, oh, it's gonna be yeah. amazing." <laughs> and then didn't really do much. But there we are. No. Oh well. Uh, which, which is a shame. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. that we'll probably see it next week. Who yeah. are they playing next week? Next week, um, not entirely Blades. sure. Oh, <laughs> that'll be an interesting one. <laughs> oh no, we're playing Dirt. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, no. Hercule is going to destroy you. <laughs> Suck it down. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't foresee much of a future for the Super Saiyans ever. No, I don't no, even think we'll be able to put them back together with Gavita. Yeah, yeah, we won't be able to compete in the league. Yeah, I mean that's that's the. I mean that's the fear. Yeah. Let's be honest. I mean, well, we'll... it's not a really a fear, is it? Let's be honest. It's no. a reality. It's, not. Yeah. it's, it's like... a reality and a hope, fervent <laughs> praying. You just get used to the endless sacrifices doom. to the gods. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. <laughs> all we all could think of. of. Yeah. Just like, oh, yeah, just kill someone. Just get rid of them. <laughs> Go shoot. You can do this kind of thing, can't you? Yeah. Get on that for me. <laughs> There's quite a few AI, AI changes for Boo as well. Uh, maybe not Kid Boo, but at least Margin Boo and Oob. Let me check Evil Boo. Obviously, I'm just going through them now, which is why I'm saying, yeah, Evil Boo changed. Go home, boo. Do you have any stats for this match, Squee? Nope. I ran out of stats a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, we know. <sighs> Just like I... you ran out of food! But... <laughs> <laughs> Unlike stats, though, you're never getting any after. Ooh! <laughs> it's like your stomach crumbling <laughs> <laughs> Um yes, Don't it's... do frog noises, <laughs> Ace. What's the frog noise? Um, that was week one, so we'll go on to the questions from the viewers. We have those? Yeah, we do. Okay. I've got them here, I mean, I could have started reading them off, but... <laughs> you just started, like, halfway through me singing. I should have, yeah. Okay. I didn't First have question, heart, really. by Hazar for Timelines on October 31st, 2013, 3.7pm. What? No, it was 2.07pm. You would be wrong. Uh, no, because we've gone back in time, HJK. We're no it longer says plus here, one. It says right here, three oh seven. Yes, and that's because your forum time's wrong. No, no, it not is. My forum time. Oh, I don't care about my forum time. 
Exactly. And, wrong time. So, not really. It's the right time. Right. Whatever time HGK so, says, take it back an hour. Okay. <laughs> October I'm just, 31st. I'm just, I'm just enjoying the show. <laughs> October 31st, 2009, 3.07. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now that Rebel has gone neutral, which team does he like better? Super Saiyans or Earth Defenders? The answer would have been the same as before, Super Saiyans. <laughs> yep. Wow. Yeah. I, 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 I could have wanted that. <laughs> I think he was hoping for some sort of like little debate or like, oh, how could you do that? And it was just a sad, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Why wouldn't you? <laughs> I, 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 in, I enjoyed playing the Earth Defenders when I was at Cold. That was enjoyable. It was we had some good games. Um, didn't really enjoy playing the Super Saiyans. They were a bit shit, really. Because we um, beat you most of the time. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that says something about Rebel's personality. He enjoys the teams that are shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I like I like the Super Saiyans. They're an, they're a very entertaining team to watch. Yes, we are. Uh, the next question by To Be Wolf on October thirty first, two thousand thirteen, eight thirty seven p.m. Would there be any special event team matches during significant milestones of each season? Long winning streaks, the halfway point, stuff like that, and have members from, say, the miners, or characters who wouldn't be able to really show off in the league, due to being unable to fit on any current teams. Well, there are the minor leagues for that. Yeah, is, um, which is kind of the point, and the answer would be. I'm, I'm no. a little confused. Um, first of all, it, it's 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 a very it's a very advanced idea. So, like to me, it's almost implying like we've discussed this before. <laughs> Um, which we idea. never have. Um, <laughs> special matches for people that have long win streaks? What? Yeah. Um, I, don't understand the concept. I would say probably not. We've got enough on our plate. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just mm, a bit. Yeah. I mean, and also for the, for the for the players that haven't been haven't been shown on, um, you know, played in the league, that that's the whole point of the minor league. That was the whole premise of um, the actual league. For ones that actually can't show off in the league, you've got the gauntlet in the end of the season. Yeah. Absolutely. Which makes it even more special. Yeah. And then the second question is, do you think Goldo can be fixed, or is he a lost cause? Yes, he can be fixed. I think any character can be fixed. Maybe not to... I don't think any character can be uh, on the same level as the elites, but I think any character can be a good, viable member of a team. No, absolutely. I mean, with with his um, uh, barrage move, Goldo is not terrible. His ultimate's actually pretty good. Um, and I can't for the life of me remember what his other move is. It's an energy wave, isn't it? An energy wave. His other B two. Um, He's got like a barrage thing and then a yeah, yeah a rock, a rock. There we go. Yeah. So you know he's certainly not a terrible character. It's just a case of getting him to not be thick. Yeah, I guess. To that's, put it the, uh, that's the educated statement there. Yeah. Just make sure he's not thick. Yeah. Um. Okay. Third question. What? What do you want from me? <laughs> By uh, Vindicated Fifty Seven, November first, two thousand thirteen, one forty-four a.m. Who do you think is a better choice for Dragon Ball Warriors, Devil Man or Pilaf? Support your answer. Pilaf. This would be worth eighty percent of your grade. I don't really want to support it now. Mm, I, like I would cool. say, I would say, uh, unless they could get Devil Man's fork to work, because there was a period of time where Devil Man was consistently firing and hitting with one of his B twos that was fairly powerful. Unless they could get that to work consistently, I would say peel off, simply because um, he's got a lot of advantages. Not name, not the least of which, his transformation. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, I don't really know peel off well enough, so I couldn't really say. I would certainly say peel off for exactly the same reasons as Squee mentioned. And also, Devilman is intrinsically not as good and doesn't have those advantages. So his, you know, Devilman is effectively a standard player with a, okay, different ultimate, but effectively a standard character with less powerful moves. Um, and that's not really what you want, certainly in the Dragon Ball Warriors, whereas Pilaf has those advantages of, not, you know, not the least being an android is, is a massive advantage for him. Um, and then, you know, perhaps his transformation, depending on what they decide to do with him, could well be a huge advantage for him. 
I mean, and, and, and never mind the fact that it gives you um, strategical advantages of, am I facing life suckers? Well, mm-hmm. make sure we have peel off in there. That's at yeah. least one character we don't have to worry about. You know, because for perfect example, if Dr. Giro had been facing peel off, that never would have happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, he might have absorbed the moves, perhaps, if he had the opportunity, but apart from right. that, he would have. He does would, he yeah. count as a giant when he's transformed as well? Yes. Yes, he does. Yeah, so, so no throws, no B2s. That's quite, yeah. Mm, I, I would say peel off then, based on that evidence. Pretty hefty, yep. Mm, Actually, I'm not sure. Have we tested no B2s, no rush B2s? I know there's no throws, but I think there's a few characters that you can't throw, but you can still rush B2. Uh, haven't. There's a few we'd rush have to, we'd have to test it. There's a few rush moves you can break through a giant's thing with. I yeah, think. We would have to test it, which wouldn't be too hard to test. No, yeah. But I think the majority of them don't work, but there are some that do. Um. Next question by a BWT23. On November 5th, 2013, 1.50am. If any Saiyan could be a Super Saiyan, which one would you want? Um, Aureli? Uh, Aureli is not a Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Or, not or a Saiyan. Saiyan. Yeah. Oh, any Saiyan. Sorry, I... Pan. I've, had, I've got that question in front of me, I just didn't read it. Definitely um, Pan. Um, I'd probably say Goku. Goku is a Super Saiyan. No, no, he's not. See, no, he's a bit crap. <laughs> Which no, Goku? No no, 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 all of them. Goku can't go Super Saiyan. Jesus, that would just break the whole show. God, squee. God damn it. What do you think he's gonna do? Like two, Super, Super Saiyan two? <laughs> Maybe even Super Saiyan three? <laughs> and then die. It's you so. Silly squee. Okay. Um, Rebel? Uh, yeah. Vegeta? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't go Super Saiyan either. No, Vegeta, just... What is up with this? God yeah, they're, damn they're, it. It's not very good, are they? It's not very fair, really. Yeah. Anything the Super Saiyan should get uh, a boost. Yes, I, 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 <laughs> I agree. I agree. I mean, this I is think a thing that now should that, happen. Now, now that now that we can, we have you know unlimited numbers of batars. The super saiyans <laughs> should definitely each get fourteen point builds. To be honest, I think it should be unlimited, just for fairness' sake. Because uh, let's be honest. I don't know. I, mm, when you're when yeah, you're going, I guess. Up. I guess. Yeah. I mean, we can always we can always nerf it back down after a season if we feel it's necessary. <laughs> From unlimited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the second question is directed at Squee. Uh, Squee, do you think your team will do good this season? And if you do bad, all I want you to is beat. The- no, 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 no. We're not having this question. We're not having anyone, you know, slander the Super Saiyans. Okay, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would suggest to everyone for the future if you ask me if I think my team is going to do good it will always be a yes and if it ever turns out to be a no it is because I have given up on that team (laughs) so as long as I haven't given up on that team of course I'm going to have an optimistic outlook on it Uh, yes I think they will do good yes what's optimism Um, wow that rebel. sums up everything there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It really, really does. <laughs> <laughs> Explains. So I, don't, I don't do positive outlook. I, uh, I work with really sticky too much. It's just not possible. It's grinds you down. <laughs> yeah. It's just depressing. <laughs> Start singing and... Uh, God. To be fair, though, I, I think we've lost most of our matches against Earth Defenders. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if you did wow. beat us. Um... Next question, and I think it's the last question by To Be Wolf. You've already had a question, To Be Wolf. You can't be greedy. Yeah, um, God, you got to wait until next week now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> November 5th, uh, 2.08 a.m. Why do I? Do you think that my choice for Ginyu in the fight for music was an all right one, as I was legit expecting more out of him given his performance in the test matches? Or do you think that I set my bar too high for him and should have just went with the crew? Uh, yes and no. I, I, I would say um, that, first of all, one or two test matches, okay, and I will say this as a advice from a veteran coach to a new coach. One or two test matches is not enough to give you a team champion, ever. 
do not rely so much on they did great at the test, so I'm going to send him out to champion the music I want. Don't 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 against don't. Team Cold. Rely upon experience um, and 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 history, and you we we have seen times where tests turn out to be fantastic, and then the matches themselves not so much. Yeah. Um, I would say that no matter how good your tests are, the tests in and of themselves are not enough for you to say, "Oh, this is now my best character." Yeah, um, and and beyond that, I would say that. Um, Raccoon wouldn't have been, shouldn't have been your choice either. <laughs> nope. You definitely should have gone with Jace because Jace is the one that consistently has outperformed all the other Ginyu Force. Perhaps Birder. Raccoon, I would say, is third strongest in your team. The thing um, with Jace is he might just want savior on him. Now, and, and understand, and understand that I am referring to the way they stand now, not the way they could be in the future. But the problem is, when you're dealing with tests, when you're dealing with preseason, and to a point when you're even dealing with the season, you can deal with maybes and might bees and could bees one day. When you're dealing with this match is it, either you win it or you lose it, and you are fighting for something, you rely upon what works, not what could work in the future. Yeah, I so. think there's, there's, definitely, there's definitely a point to be said there for that. I'd also say that putting an entirely experimental, or what looked to me to be entirely experimental, build on someone who was going for a one-time only match was not the best idea ever. You One, you're not... It's not reasonable in terms of what you were fighting. Also, if you think about who you were fighting, you're not going to get more than likely a reasonable test out of Freezer. Yeah, if your character beats Freezer two out two times out of three, congratulations. But most of the time that is not going to happen. Um and you won't get like I said, you won't get a de- you won't get a decent test out of that. Um and yeah, I think the only character uh, even at their best performance that we've seen so far, that would have a chance against the freezer that we have come to expect over the past season, and through the um, certainly through the MVP tournament as well, is probably Jace. And even I think Jace would probably have been taken down. Mm, probably. I mean, honestly, I think you were going into a losing fight anyway. But if you're going into a losing fight, you stack the deck as much in the favor as you can. You, 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 but um, but the thing is, is I, I, I am willing to believe and retract my statement that you weren't taking it seriously. I'm willing to believe that you were taking it seriously. But if that's the case, then you were going about it in, in, in an incorrect way. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just, just, just use it as a learning experience. Um, that you should never rely so strongly upon a test, no matter how fantastic that test is. You need to, you can, you need to, and can only rely on time and time again. And that's one thing I will cover this in Dragon Ball Z League One One. Rebel and I talk about this a lot. There are so many people out there that will try a build for one test and one week, and then they'll throw it away. Um, and it's kind of the opposite of what you did, but I mean, the thing is that they say, oh, well, they did crap this week, let's do a whole new build. One week, one test, one whatever is never enough to give you enough information to make any decisions other than, yes, we could continue using this, or maybe this isn't the direction we want to go. Um, you, you need the only real time, um, what, what can I say, conclusive evidence you can get is number of matches. If if you if a character has done something for four matches and every match he is consistently or she has consistently performed the same way, then you can start to draw some conclusions of yes, I think this works. But one test, two tests, you know, you you do two tests, it's absolutely phenomenal. You think he's fantastic, and then you throw him out into a match that counts and he sucks because that just wasn't enough test data. Mm. So. Ah, I'm sorry, I zoned out. Squee said he agreed with me, so I assumed I didn't need to say anything. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> as much as it pained me. Yeah. <laughs> Inside. Yeah. You, you know you know, in your heart of hearts that it's been shriveled up by defeat and disappointment that I'm always right. 
and you should accept everything <laughs> I say on every matter and not question me in the slightest. This could go one of two ways, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or a third way. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Um, well, he did disagree with me. That was the unlikely one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we want to go over just briefly the changes in full. Now that they are all done. Sure. Okay, I'm going to go through the important updates one uh, thread and just read them out. Uh, all the ones we didn't talk about last time, I mean. So, the first one is the music battles. Everyone has choose, chosen a song now. Is that going to be in the new week? Yes, uh, it is. Um, they, they were supposed to upload episode one yesterday. It didn't quite happen. Uh, admittedly, it got to them a bit late because I had a, a rendering snafu. But yes, the new background musics are in full effect for the preseason. There are certain things that won't start until the season starts, but I'm using a lot of my new graphics, a lot of my new everything, so. Awesome. Cool. And the next one. So, oh, yeah, the plants, the, the plants plus three. Ooh, um, that one actually might one. be good to cover because there was apparently some confusion. Mm. Uh, yeah, the confusion stemmed from the fact that you said it was defense plus three minus two. Um whereas I put it in the custom abilities thing that it was defense plus three attack minus two. That was, right. where, that was where the confusion was coming from. Right, right. So, I mean, that's why I'm saying we should we should probably clarify it. Um, what it is, there is a defense plus three something minus one. I think it's key minus one. But it's key minus one, and that's not what we want because we, we, we there's a dichotomy. It's if you increase attack, you lower defense. If you increase defense, you lower attack, and vice versa. You know, if you increase super, you lower charge rate, and if you increase charge rate, you lower super. We don't want to start going into if you increase defense, you lower charge rate. Especially because that's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. If I'm trying to make a melee character anyway, if I'm going to be taking the, from stats from anything, it's going to be charge rate. Because mm -hmm. um, yeah. I want my defense, I want my attack, and I, I'd love my supers to be nice, but the one thing you don't need as much of in a melee character is charge rate. <laughs> Yeah. So if you want to make a melee character and add more defense on them, you're going to have to suffer the attack penalty. That's the whole point. So what we have to do is we have to use a, ta a defense plus three, attack minus two, and then also put an attack plus one. So that's how that works to get you the defense plus three, attack minus one for two points. Yeah, it's effectively, effectively a two-point blue batara. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just to make it more even because defense... Boosts are less than I attack boosts. I didn't really go into too much detail because I wanted to avoid that needless complexity for you guys. That's technically me and Derangel are the only ones that have to worry about it. But, you know, if it helps avoid confusion, then I'm all for it. Fucking fuck. Sorry. I think he's talking, I think he's talking about us. <laughs> I'm not, no. I think so. Ow, what did you for hit once, me for? For once, Jesus I'm not, no. I want my sandwich. Fuck off. <laughs> Getting a fucking sandwich. Just picture in your mind, listeners, just us in a room, squeezed <laughs> desperate for a sandwich, Rebel hitting me with a fly swatter. <laughs> it's just not going well. Hitting me with a fly swatter? I was going to hit you with a pen. <laughs> nice, okay. Yeah. God. Um, what else then? Okay, we've been over the new eternal life restrictions, I believe. Probably. New Pataras. We didn't go over what they were. And they can be found in other forms. Yeah, I was going to go say, do we, we have to? <laughs> do, we, do we really have to? I mean, the only one that might be causing some confusion is Hatred of Saiyans. I'm not sure why it I think it's would just, be, but... It's just a charge thing. Yeah, I think it, it no, probably... it's, it's basically worse than... It's basically a one-point tension up that's not as good as tension up. What it probably does is stack with tension up, which is what would make it Maybe. useful. That's probably why. It's, otherwise, it makes But even then, you there. may as well just have high tension. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, I, I would say it will have limited uses. There might be someone who only has... It's it's a one-pointer, right? Yeah. yeah. So maybe you only had two points free, and you don't have enough for high tension. High tension's two points, right? No, oh, never mind. Then it's useless. <laughs> yeah. What, is it, what does it do exactly? What's the it actual... Key region. Key region. It is... Because I have I read up on this as well. Um, It is tension up, but not as good. You know, it's less cost, less bonus. Yeah. It's basically yeah, it's like deadly healing in a turn one. It's the same type of thing. 
I don't know what the actual numbers on it is. I don't know if it's fifty percent or whatever, but I would assume that's what it is. But given how crap tension up is already, I mean, right. Mm. I get, the only the only time I can see it being even slightly useful is for an Android, perhaps a Rayleigh, who already has a pretty decent charge rate on her. That just maybe you have one point left over that you know you think, well, pff, why the hell not? I'll throw that on and I'll and you know. You know, it's not going to be a bad thing for her in any way, shape, or form, but it might not be as effective as some other things. Um, I think on any character that has the ability to stand there and charge, it is a complete waste of points. Even if you have nothing that you can think of to put the, put on them, there is going to be something better yeah, than that. Yeah, there's always something. I mean, the one point um, Pataras are actually there's quite a few good one point Pataras now. There's some really now. useful ones. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then the final one is GC Goku starting as Super Saiyan 3, but not being restricted to transformation. Correct. Yeah, that is still for the preseason, based off the, as well, going to combine with the restrictions on Gotenks. Um, but apart yeah, from um, the, 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 idea, the idea is that um, Rugrats struggled enough last season that we determined that... It, here, here's what it, it gives you a chance for. It gives you a chance that whenever they're fighting at home and one of their Rugrats or one of the Goten or Trunks is rotated out or they're trying to get them to fuse into Goten um, so they have mirror builds it gives them the chance that Super <coughs> Saiyan 4 Goku may appear and Super Saiyan 4 Goku in and of himself is an overpowered character we would never allow him in the league in other words you can't start as Goku but <laughs> given the fact that transformations never really take place until they're you know on death's door anyway so mm-hmm. like last bar of health once in a while, maybe during their second to last bar of health, mm. um, and that it would only be at home, and that it would only be in strict conditions, and you know, we think it won't be a huge problem, and it might give them a little boost that they need. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, hopefully, and if it, it will does become OP. Then, well, well, yeah, we can we'll change, change that. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's not that easy to. I mean, not that difficult, rather, to just change things if they get bad. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think it will. I mean, he hardly transformed before, and when he did, it no, didn't true. last that long. It's just more giving him freedom. Yeah, it's, it's the freedom thing. And the same thing goes for Dragon Ball Warriors with Kid Goku. Uh, we're letting them transform. Yes. Uh, yes on their, or they're letting them play on their on night maps at home. On night maps, yes. Correct. Well, night maps um, in general, now, actually. If, you guys, if anybody on the team wants to give them a night map, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and, and in case the Valkyries have that question, because of course Fasha can also transform a night map first, Glacier doesn't have a night map, and if you wanted to move to a night map, just so you could have Fasha go ape... <sighs> we might refuse. <laughs> I don't know. You guys don't really need a lot of help. The Dragon Ball Warriors on the other hand. See, here's one well, thing. I, think, I know. I, th- I think. I think. I think you could have beaten Muscle a bit more soundly, and I think you need to make a bit more of an effort next time. <laughs> um, no, I, I, here's here's something to consider that a lot of people don't realize, and I did a lot of testing on this. Most of the Dragon Ball Warrior characters have a lower defense than the average character, a lower attack power than the average character, and lower B twos than the average character. Meaning they are objectively weaker than the other teams. So if we can give them something to help give them a fighting chance or make them a little even, and even people who say, but, you know, they did fine last season, it's not a matter of what did they do last season. It's a matter of objectively, they are far weaker than the average team. Um, so, and the, the, the conclusion we came to is if the Saiyans have two or three characters who can go ape all the time, I don't see the problem with giving Dragon Ball Warriors one. <laughs> Vegeta, look at you! Look at you, chimp. No, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. I think it's fair enough. Again, it's not something that's going to tip the balance in a stupid direction, and it's also something that we can easily change if it gets out of hand, if mm-hmm. that ever happens, which I don't think it will. And it hopefully, gives. Then again, they didn't use it this week. So I'm hoping it, he does actually transform at some point. Me too. Well, he, it's not that he didn't use it. He died before he had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> he just got killed instantly, yeah. Um, okay, that's pretty much all the changes then. Uh, are we going to do the betting for the preseason, or are we just going to go over everything we'll win? Well, for the preseason... Start the preseason, I think you'll find God, yeah. you two really don't pay attention, do you? No, 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 no. I was going to say that. I, I, I saw that post where you're like, 
Oh, I thought someone took care of that. Fine. <laughs> Say, no one else is competent. Jeez. Sorry, I just hey, missed hey, all I'm of that. I'm looking at you, Ace. Hey, okay. hey <laughs> I'm getting these stats together, which is why we had so many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, d I just missed what you all said. So, so are we betting on that? Ugh. Rebel, you have my permission to whatever. Just oh, please, whatever. Not the fly swatter. Not the fly swatter, please. <laughs> I. 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 I will sit here and I'll wait for your answer. <laughs> So next week, uh, because Rebel's in the hospital, uh... <laughs> <laughs> in prison, more like. <laughs> yeah, so welcome to death. my new co-host, <laughs> <laughs> me and me, <laughs> <laughs> my which is rather odd because they still never gave me my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> never gave me the keys to the fridge. Um, yeah. Okay, so the first match is Ginyu Force versus Valkyries. Oh wait, are we doing predictions? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Valkyries. Gosh, that's so hard to do in the preseason, though. We're allowed to. Come on. Um, this is, imagine Valkyries. this is us uh, flexing our prediction muscles. So to speak. Valkyries. Valkyries. Uh, sorry, good you force. Uh, the wow. next match, Blades versus Booze. Booze. Um, <laughs> I expect the Blades to do better than that on average, but the Booze. <laughs> Blades. Ooh. Booze. Next match. Okay. Oh, we're powering through these. Oh. Yeah. Oh, a bit kind of sweating here. Oh. Muscle versus Saiyans. 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 <laughs> I kind of want to just leave a box <laughs> so it's rhythmic. But Saiyans, yeah. Next match, Derp versus Super Saiyans. Uh, Super Saiyans. Ooh. What do you mean? Ooh. Super Saiyans barely. Oh, actually, I forgot, yeah. Let's see, uh, Super Saiyans just. Really? <laughs> it's a tough one. And I've never gone Super Saiyans before, but I think now's the time. <laughs> um, wow. Gohans versus Frog Rats. Frog, uh, the little, little, little Gohans. Jesus. Um, they screwed that one up. Ah, uh, Gohans, though. I mean, the Rug Rats are. It's weird. The Rugrats are a powerful team on paper. I'm surprised they did so badly last season. Yeah. If it was... Crap. If it was anyone else, I'd say Rugrats. Almost anyone else, I'd say Rugrats. But I'm going to go on for this one. And then Androids versus DB Warriors. Androids. Androids. And hopefully uh, well, we'll have good showing from DB Warriors, but... Hopefully PR will be against Jero. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, um... Yeah, I mean you got Jero, and then you got Cell, and then Seventeen. So I'm gonna go Android for this one. Then it is Cold versus Namek, a blood. Namek. Um, I'm actually gonna say Namek. Yeah. Cold. What the fuck's wrong with you two? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um I'm, I, I'm kind of expecting Cold to win, but that being said, Namek has a phenomenal record against Cold. Really? That, that and yeah, I don't been, think Cold's been... ever beaten them. Maybe once or twice, and and besides that, last season they were spectacular. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this uh, is the preseason, so I could be entirely mistaken, and Cold don't right. change anything again. But you know. And then the final match: Margins versus Earth Defenders. Uh, margins. <laughs> hmm. Depends if Krillin performs. Yeah, margins. I was gonna say. Um, I want to say. M um, Earth Defenders, because I don't think the margins are quite there yet. Um, you know, yeah, on Earth, Earth Defenders level. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. They're in the same division, they're getting to that low standard. Yeah, they've, they've literally reached your level. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it's like, give them some time, Squee, they'll get there. <laughs> they'll sink that low, don't worry. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, phew. Um, I will say... Wait, did you who did you say, Squee? Uh, Earth Defenders. I will say margins. And that is all the matches for week two of the preseason. Okay, the teams that aren't gonna win are Muscle and Derp. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Dragon Ball Warriors and Rugrats. And Guinea Force. Uh no, you voted for Guinea. Did I? Yes. 
pretty sure I voted Valkyries. Don't really? try and make me lose. <laughs> now listen, I have a fucking recording. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, okay. You were, going, so you were H- being contrary. Super Rebel, Sect was Rebel, HJK? Rebel, oh, yeah. HJK has never let recording stop him before. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Things like, like evidence are mean nothing <laughs> to a man like yeah. that. You're welcome, you're welcome to take it back, HJK. I'm not disputing that, but you voted Guinea. I... I'm trying to think if I did. I definitely you did. did. All right, I'm I'm still saying vowels, but I'm going to check the recording now. I'm going to watch that video and I'm going to comment on it and go. So I guess he's changing vowels. his vote. I think he's changing his vote. Yeah. I'm no, I don't think I am. I think I'm just re- reiterating what I already said. You flip flopper. So, you waffler. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you aren't. If you, w- I oh. swear to God, if I'm right, I'm gonna. That's another thing I'm right about. I'm gonna laugh at it. <laughs> Wow, what a brilliant deduction there. I swear to God, if I'm right, that is something I am right about. <laughs> yes. I, dun, I don't. Dun, dun. I, I, don't, I, don't even, I, I don't even need to insult you. You just did that for yourself, mate. <laughs> I'm used to it. It's fine. Like, I don't know. On one hand, he is correct. <laughs> he's correct, but he's also an idiot. If anything, all I've done is baffle you with my <laughs> rhetoric. Stupidity. My rhetoric is what I meant to say. Um, really? Are you yep. sure you haven't mispronounced that? Uh, I'm pretty sure, because I said rhetoric. Are you sure you didn't mean retardedness? No, I meant rhetoric. You, you, can, sure? check the, you can check the recording if you like. I definitely no, no, said... I, know, I know what you said. I'm just not sure that's what you meant. Oh, that's definitely what I meant. You sure? Rhetoric. Do you know what that word means? It means... I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is like you, a pause where you were considering whether or not you actually knew and... No. Oh, shame. Yep. All right, folks, uh, that's the end of the Zcast. And when we get back next week, I'll have made HK eat a dictionary. And. Okay. I'll have tidied yeah, up this room. It's a. Cause that's... It's a mess here. <laughs> it, and it's got your sandwich in it. Yeah, I was going to say, there'll be the sandwich in, in case. Um, but yeah. I've got to tidy this, this room up. You guys are no, no, eating it. No! <laughs> <laughs> And at I mean, the same Rebels time, I'm going to make another beware, sandwich and then beware, eat it in front of you. Beware my homeless rage. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're going to go back in the cage now. No, this, no. Yeah. This, this it smells just, like no. It smells you know like cucumbers pets in there. Have um, like a little corner of the room to themselves with all the rags <laughs> and stuff in it. That's basically the Z Cast podcast studio. Look, he's gone. You have to keep me in a cage. Fine, but does it have to be with Miley Cyrus? Yeah. That girl scares me. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> no, we have to keep you in line somehow. We're going to see who lasts longer. We can't let her out. <laughs> no. And with that, on that bombshell, it's time to say good night <laughs> and farewell. I'm certain there's a song that's meant to be sung here, but I cannot I do, remember. I do, I do. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. You meant to end the recording level. Kind of ruinous. Yeah. Fuck you both. Good job.